Then the fifth uh, question is, what happens if e-commerce app or web application completely fails to work? This, this is very crucial because whenever we are testing an application, you should also understand what will happen. Let's say if I don't test the application properly or if the application is not hosted properly or if the application is not able to take the load properly, then what will happen? This would be the normal question which they ask anybody in the interview. Whenever your app or a website doesn't work, that means your online store or your e-commerce application won't be visible in the internet. That means people, they're not able to access on the internet. And also when they're not able to access uh, the application, then they cannot do anything or they cannot shop from your e-commerce application or some certain time, Maybe your web application is working, your app, app is working, but uh, they are not able to find the products or products are not displaying properly online. So that time also your customer cannot uh, buy any of your product. If the experience of uh, uh, not finding the right product when they are doing searching or when they are operating on your e-commerce application, if they are not able to find the right products, then they will just uh, vanish from your e-commerce application. They may not come back later. Right? That is also a major challenge if your e-commerce application is not working properly. So when the customer is not able to buy what they are liking from your e-commerce application, definitely your company will lose the money and uh, the company will also lose the trust uh, in front of the customer. Then the sixth important question is, can you name few issues found during e-commerce testing? This is more of a specific uh, issues which I'm trying to quote here. Maybe if you have your own issues, you can also add as part of uh, answering this question. The first is the core functional issues. The core functional issues could be any issues related to payments or any issues related to card functionality, anything related to integration or anything related to user registration, anything related to product management, anything related to user data, right? These are the some of the issues comes under core functional issues, which and also there could be issues uh, like uh, navigational issues from your web application or a mobile app perspective. You can uh, highlight some of the important issues here and also you can also talk about usability issues usability issues could be the broken links maybe certain pages are not at all opening up or when you click on certain links something is not at all working field focuser is not working tab key is not working i am not able to transfer from one field to another field in a proper order shortcuts are not working and so on. There are a lot of uh, usability issues could be there. Maybe you just remember a few things and uh, mention some of these issues with certain examples. Definitely that would help you to clear in the interview. And also you can talk about uh, any performance related aspect, load, stress issues, such as crashes or response time issues. Just name some, some of the issues which you might have faced uh, while testing this e-commerce application. Then the seventh important uh, interview question is, what is payment gateway testing? So what is payment gateway testing? The payment gateway testing is nothing but, again, it is a process of testing. We are testing a e-commerce system for online purchases and transactions, where we use payment gateways as part of the integration to make a purchases online and complete the transaction. That is the whole process we are testing as part of the payment gateway. So main purpose of testing payment gateway is whether we are able to make the secured payment between the user and merchant using any of the mods. It could be credit card, debit card, or any other uh, forms of uh, payments, right? Then the eighth important uh, interview question is, can you name some of the e-commerce models? There are various e-commerce models available in the market these days. First one is business to consumer. This is a, the first model where uh, businesses sell their products online and offline to the end customers. The second thing is business to business. The business to business is one business sells its products or services to another businesses. If you, and we also have consumer to business where the consumer can sell to the bigger business people. Then the fourth type of e-commerce model here is the consumer to consumer, where consumer himself 
they can sell it to some other consumer using e-commerce models examples of different types of e-commerce application i just spoke about e-commerce model now what are the various examples which i can give which we have different types of e-commerce application is b2b websites or portal like alibaba india mart similarly we have b2c websites or portal amazon and flipkart which i already told in the last slide and we have a consumer to business websites like such as the freelancer fiverr so these are the some of the websites which they deal with uh, consumer to business uh, e-commerce applications in order to get the answers from you this would be the generic question they will ask you can you tell me what are the important functionalities which we normally tested as part of the e-commerce testing the first thing normally we test here is user registration if somebody comes to your website the first functionality they will normally access here is user registration page once the user registration is done you can log into your e-commerce application and uh, uh, you can also search the user search the products you can list the uh, services and you can order as well use uh, using this functionality then we have a wish list then we have a payment gateways various payment options should be there credit card debit card we have a wallets right we have upi there are various way of transferring the money and also refunds uh, option after let's say after buying certain products if i don't uh, like that product anymore then i wanted to return the product there is a mechanism of refunding the money as well right then uh, there is also a online transaction and processing of uh, money um, orders everything as part of this functionality then we have a electronic data interchange if we are dealing with uh, multiple edis we have a lot of data integration then we'll go with electronic data interchange we have web services as part of this testing then we also do api testing where uh, if you have integration with multiple apis then we'll be dealing with api testing then we have a supply chain in inventory management because a lot of vendors are register to your e-commerce application that means uh, you should be able to manage the complete supply chain mechanism and inventory mechanism as part of this uh, testing an e-commerce uh, application you should also work on session management cookies uh, validation because especially the e-commerce application deals with affiliate marketing and so on right they have to maintain the cookies also you can promote the affiliate marketing using e-commerce then also we have a shopping cart functionalities procurement uh, history reward point systems and so on purchase history and so on right so these are the some of the very crucial functionality which we normally test as part of the e-commerce testing so 